Hi guys, welcome to a video showcasing NFL logo rebrands. These are some of the worst rebrands I've ever seen. Just remember, I did not create these logos. I just found them and I'm showing them to you guys. Make sure you like the video and subscribe, and now let's get right into it. Starting out here with the Arizona Cardinals, we see this logo, which is a C for Cardinals, I guess. There's no A for Arizona, but whatever. Uh, and the Cardinals coming out of the C. But I think Cardinals are typically red, so I don't know why this one's black. And uh, I don't really like this logo that much. Moving on with the Atlanta Falcons. This is just an A and an F for the Atlanta Falcons. A lot of these logos, unfortunately, are just letters of the teams, which is stupid. But the F, the top of the F is the line in the A, and then it's just black and red. It's very basic and uh, doesn't really seem like a good rebrand for the Atlanta Falcons. Next up for the Baltimore Ravens. These, uh, just the B and the R are combined, so you can't really tell. I mean, you can tell, but it, they're not really split up. And uh, again, it's just letters, the B and the R for Baltimore Ravens. Uh, they do have the colors. They used a lot less purple on this one than I would think they should use because I feel like that's the main color for the Baltimore Ravens. But they still have it, and they have the gold, obviously. They don't have black, though. I don't see any black, so... Moving on for the Buffalo Bills, this is the B and the B for Buffalo Bills. Uh, one's reversed, and it kind of looks like an 8 to me now with a line. Um, and it also has the normal red line from like the actual Buffalo Bills logo. Uh, obviously not a big fan, it's just the letters, and it doesn't even look like BB. I mean, I see what they're going with, but it doesn't look good. Next up for the Carolina Panthers, another logo with the letters of the team. CP, uh, it looks weird again. The C is obviously supposed to be like a reverse of the P. Uh, I, I hate it. It's it's just bad. I don't know why this guy made a bunch of uh, letters for the logo designs, but this isn't the last of it. There's some more. Next up for Chicago Bears, this is a CB. This is actually not much different from their actual logo. It's just their logo is just a C, but this one has the B in it. Um, the font looks weird again it's like the, the, he used the same font I'm pretty sure for like every logo it's like this long skinny font and uh, but the colors match so I'll give him that but you know next up for the Cincinnati Bengals it's just another C and B at least the fonts a little different this time but it really doesn't resemble anything uh, that like Tigers or anything and I don't really like it next up for the Cleveland Browns this logo actually doesn't look bad. Um, I mean, it seems like this fits for them for some reason. Maybe it's the colors, maybe it's the font style. I don't know. But obviously it's the C and the B again. Uh, and I don't really like it overall. Next up for the Dallas Cowboys. This logo looks like uh, the DC logo from like, you know that skateboarding uh, company, the shoes? It reminds me of that for some reason. But uh, it's pretty plain, has the D and the C, the, I mean, it has a star in the middle, which is cool, it kind of makes sense, but it doesn't really make sense for the Cowboys. Next up for the Denver Broncos, for some reason he decided to make an actual logo here instead of just letters, so this is the Bronco, the horse, it looks pretty cool actually, this is probably the only logo out of all these that I like, it's very cool, uh, obviously the horse is uh, standing. Uh, so very awesome horse Next up for the Detroit Lions. I don't understand why the D here is reversed again um, But it's obviously D and L for the Detroit Lions Very plain very much again letters. I don't really like it Next up for the Green Bay Packers This looks weird again for some reason the G and the P are like combined like the G has an extra line at the top here just to make it combine with the P. I think it's a little unnecessary, but at least they have the colors right, uh, so I'll give them that. Next up for the Houston Texans, this is just an H and a T. At least he put in uh, these little horns at the top to resemble uh, the bull horns, I believe, from uh, actual uh, bulls in Texas. But again, it's just the letters, I don't really like it. Next up for the Indianapolis Colts, I feel like this artist is just getting lazy. I mean, 
He has the I and the C. At least the C kind of looks like a horseshoe, but not really. Um, he added the dots uh, that resemble the horseshoe. Obviously, it's uh, not a good logo. Next up for the Jacksonville Jaguars, the J and the J. I mean, he could have at least tried to make a Jaguar or something. It could have been much better instead of this. But we're staying with the letters, I guess. Next up for the Kansas City Chiefs. This logo is basically just the K and the C combined into one. And then they added some, I guess, feathers from Native Americans on there. It's supposed to be like Chiefs. Um, obviously, looks bad again. But at least he uh, did some more uh, to put in the logo. Next up for the Los Angeles Rams. This logo is another L and A. Uh, very basic once again. Just the letters. I hate it. And But at least he has the colors right. And uh, that's good on him. Next up for the Miami Dolphins. It's just an M and a D. Um, he maybe could have put a dolphin in here, you know? You never know. But no, he just decided to do an M and a D. But the colors are right, and uh, maybe even a sun, you know? But no. Next up for the Minnesota Vikings. The M and the V for Minnesota Vikings. Uh, for some reason, the, M, uh, the V is between, like, the M. So that's the thing. And the colors are right. So, I'm pretty sure all the colors are right in all these logos, but, you know. Next up for the New England Patriots. This is actually really similar to, I think, Tom Brady's logo. It's just the N and the E, but the colors are right, and uh, the font looks similar to Tom Brady's logo. But, uh, the TB12. But obviously this logo is very basic again, just the N and the E, so. Next up for the New Orleans Saints, we have the N and the O for New Orleans, but he did put a fleur de lis into, inside the O to uh, give it the negative space. Uh, the font looks weird again, and I don't really like the letters as the logo, but moving on. For the New York Jets, he actually did something cool, I, I guess. The football on the outside, it's kind of similar to their current logo, but it has a jet flying through it, which is awesome. Uh, this one is actually not too bad. I like it and obviously they have the green which fits their color scheme for the New York Giants for some reason I, I mean he didn't make it a logo for it or maybe this is supposed to be it this is what showed up uh, it's basically just an NFL logo without any blue so I don't know what he was doing there maybe he forgot to do the New York Giants I'm sorry Giants fans but this is all you guys get for the Oakland Raiders uh, this is supposed to be two swords, two pirate swords, and I think it's supposed to be in an R shape. Uh, if you see the smaller uh, sword is like the little tail sticking out of the R, and then the, the handle is the half circle for the R. Um, this looks really bad, no matter what, you know. Next up for the Philadelphia Eagles, this is basically just two wings, so like just two sides of uh, Eagles helmet. Put together um, it's for some reason this logo is really small compared to all the other ones but and it's also crooked I think it's slanted a little bit but obviously it looks not good and uh, doesn't really represent the Eagles that well next up for the Pittsburgh Steelers this is probably the best logo out of all of them uh, it's the hammers for the steel workers from uh, Pittsburgh and it's very cool it has the Three, I mean the three colors for the uh, that represents the steel mark I believe so this is actually one of the cooler logos uh, that's probably why I put it in the thumbnail next up for the Los Angeles Chargers this is just a basic lightning bolt nothing too special I mean I feel like their current lightning bolt for their logo is much better because it actually has some arc and it like it just looks better you know this one at least has the bright colors and uh, looks okay, I guess. Next up for the San Francisco 49ers. This is a pickaxe for the miners of the gold rush in, in uh, I believe, 1849. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Um, this one at least has the right colors and uh, it has the red and the gold. Looks okay, I guess. Next up for the Seattle Seahawks. This is just an S for Seattle. And I really don't understand what these spikes coming out of it are for. Uh, I think something like the Mariners logo has something similar. Uh, let me know what you guys think the spikes are. Next up for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This is just the basic uh, skull in the design of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers colors. Like the, 
the gold, the black, and the red. I mean, skulls don't really mean pirates. I think like there's a specific pirate skull that means pirates, which are buccaneers, but I don't know what he was doing with this one. Next up for the Tennessee Titans. This is basically just a sword in the Titans uh, color scheme. Uh, it doesn't really represent the Titans that much, so I don't know what he was going with with this. Last but not least, it's the Washington Redskins, and this is just an arrow, I think, or maybe a spear. It's supposed to show Native Americans uh, from the time period. I mean, at least it has the right color scheme, and uh, very basic, very simple, like all these logos. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe, and check out one of these videos on screen.